Hello and welcome to another maintenance vlog from the Engine Bay. So we sailed from Cadiz to the Canary Islands and we pulled in uh, in order to prepare for the Atlantic. There was a few jobs to do on our Volvo Penta TMD 22 marine diesel. Uh, one of those jobs was to pull the injectors and test them because we found a leak on injector number three. As you know, I'm always up for a bit of DIY, but this particular job was a little bit above my pay grade and I've got no facilities for testing injectors anyway. So I decided to call in the professionals and uh, take a good look at how they did it so I could do the job for myself next time. got a, a diesel leak on the third injector down here and there's a pool of diesel in the bilges. In the three and a half years we've had the boat we've never actually had the injectors inspected so it's probably a good time to take them out and have a look. As soon as we got here we uh, we called the engineer who kept saying he was going to come out and it's a week later and uh, I've just had confirmation that he actually is coming out today. This is a couple of days before we we're supposed to leave so I'm just hoping that there's nothing wrong that he's just going to pull them get them tested and then put them back in. So the trickiest part of jobs such as this is getting to the component part that you want. And this was no exception. We had quite a few things to remove out the way before we could actually pull the injectors. So first to go was the tube leading from the fuel feeder pump to the fuel filter. But obviously don't forget to switch the fuel off at the pre-filters and at the tank first. Now it's open? Uh, yes. And now close it. It's full of fuel, no? The yes. boat. And if the return line goes higher than the engine, then that needs to be drained as well. It's turned off at the tank now. Next to go was the hollow screws connecting the tubes to the injectors. Then the leak off pipe from injectors one and three. The return hoses and the leak off pipes just return unused fuel back into the system. Then he slackened off the delivery pipes. I'm not sure why he did this before he did the other leak off pipes, but I'm just showing this in the order that it was done. So then he removed the leak off pipes to injectors two and four.
Next to go was the holders or clamps. This holder unit is made up of several different component parts but it can be removed just as one piece. And finally, we were down to the injectors. So then a quick inspection to make sure that there was nothing left in the holes like washers or bits of debris. And then he blocked off the holes and the injectors were taken to the Bosch testing centre. We're ready. So that's it, Hoke's come and taken the injectors away. Um, unfortunately we forgot to switch the fuel off before we started so there's uh, quite a lot of diesel in the bottom there. But he reckons that'll be a turnaround in a day. There's a Bosch testing centre just up the road. So. so then I got a series of confusing calls. The first one to say that all the injectors needed replacing uh, and a second call saying it was just one injector which was a bit leaky. So when Jorge came back I got him to explain exactly what was going on with the injector. Today we do the reinstall again the injectors yeah. on the small engine. The high press fuel come from here, go to the bottom, inside to the nozzle, go to the bottom side and go here and here is a small hole and the high press is able to push the spring and we have a good spray here. Mm. It's working with good spray but it's losing a lot of fuel mm -hmm. between the needle and the body yeah. of the nozzle is leaking fuel and it's more fuel than normal for the return. The fuel is coming here, going inside, from here, and go to the bottom. The fuel press this spring and, and have a good spray for these small uh, holes. Yeah. But this one has a lot of hours it's, and it's out of clearance. For this reason, it's leaking fuel for here. More than the normal. Normal must have fuel yeah. because it's a lubrication for the, yes, the yeah. needle inside, yeah. have a lubrication with fuel, but now, the more important the spray is in good condition. Because but for the next time, test the injector every 1,500 hours. Nobody do that in this time, yeah. but yes, in 3,000 hours. But all depending so, on the fuel condition, not the fuel filter, the fuel condition. Oh, uh, just good quality fuel. Yes, all depending on the sulfur. So the reason it was leaking was because the copper washer was was worn. Before or? I don't know. I, I don't know because I I live in the bus uh, service. Yeah. And they uh, do the service immediately. I, maybe it was, uh, this nut was free and can be leaked between and go to the top. Oh, and then work its way out. Yes, Yeah. can leak from here to the top. And then it was just a matter of putting everything back on the way that it came off, which from experience is never a straightforward job and this was no exception.
So at this point he slackened off the tube to the injector pump. I'm not sure why he did it at this point but I think later it was to bleed the engine when we started it up. This is the crankcase uh, outlet. Here is a small uh, oil separator. Normally, it must go to the air filter, but uh, everybody put outside to the new room. So next it was a matter of replacing the copper washers, old for new. and we reinstalled the hollow screws for the leak off pipe on injectors one and three.
Okay, can you try to start? The engine don't start because the injection pipe is free. Yep. Start. Stop. Can you start? Mm -hmm. ah. Yes, with the number three, it's leaking compression. So there was no getting around it. We had to take ejector three out again, which meant removing all of those tubes again. But it was a good opportunity to remind myself of the procedure, I guess. So here it is again, speed it up, see if you can name all of the component parts. The fuel is open, no? Now it's open. <laughs> ah. The return was out. Start again, please. So I'm not sure what he did differently this time, except give the hole a good clean and the injector a good clean and the scrape and reinstalled it with the copper grease. So that was it. And all that was left was the bill. And the bill came to 363 euros. In my experience, the hourly rate can range from 20 euros an hour to 45 an hour. And that was priced at 50 euros an hour, which is by far the most we've paid anywhere in the last three years for an engineer. Bye-bye. Bye. Have you got the invoice there? But at least I've got the confidence now to do the job myself next time. So thanks for watching and thanks in particular to our patrons who make these blogs possible. It's hot and thirsty work working down here in the engine bay. So if you'd like to buy me a nice cold beer, you can do this by following the Patreon link in the description below.